सो गुड मॉर्निंग वेलकम टू सकल विद्या यूट्यूब चैनल स्टिल टुडे जॉइनिंग लक्ष्मण या श्रेयना कार्तिक या किरण मानसा नेक्स्ट श्रीनिवास रेड्डी कार्तिक अश्वा रेड्डी संध्या स्वाति सिंह शहेरा नेक्स्ट दिशु दिशवांक रमेश किशोर भावना वंशी रमेश चौधरी हर्षा संपत चंदना श्री हरे कृष्णा जगनमोहन महेश अनुराधा एंड किशोर ओके स्टिल जॉइनिंग गुड मॉर्निंग एवरीबॉडी प्रसन्ना ओके गोपालम साई शिवकुमार राजू चिंता विनोद ओके एनी एक्चुअली न्यू Yours are there. Please, you need to subscribe because so that you will get the notification from us. And actually, most of the viewers are asking about the vector algebra. Vector algebra is related to the first year. Actually, we have completed many topics from first year. So first, let me complete some few of the chapters from second year also. Second year two. So today I started. Uh, I started even uh, pro under probability chapter. Your your probability chapter was asking. so that means first in probability chapter we have in random variables also you may get one or two questions even uh, by uh, distributions binomial distribution and poisson distribution first let it be completed as fast as so that we shall move to good morning dhruvamsh okay and next ishwari timmala ganesh jyoti okay okay ganesh ganesh ah uh, yes any newcomers are there you need to subscribe first of all right uh, mr sandeep neta okay you are there suma right once again uh, any new viewers are there we have some conditions and restrictions to chart you need to chart regarding only subject don't chart other than subject so you need to confine the subject okay so now let's move to our concept now nasmar of siliveru joined is our regular viewer madhurima sumant also regular viewer so what about chalama shastri is not there now akshay dimon namaste namaste vinayaki after long time vaishnavi vinayaki right yashwant kumar Ganesh Pola, ah uh, yes, you are also regular, right? Bhavana, have you subscribed in our WhatsApp group? Have you joined? You chatted, Bhavana? Okay, right. It's very good morning, very good morning, all of you, right? So don't worry, voice may come. Okay. Now the first one is. Random. variables random variables so definitely one or two marks will come in the examination one or two questions will appear random variables so in the random variables or binomial distribution poisson distribution we discuss probability chapter also indirectly the probability chapter also will be completed okay I know Vishnu Vinayaki, but actually you are not coming to the chat. That's why you might be watching. Okay, right. So now, for example, what is the random variable? Before going to the random variable, let's have a discussion on sample space. What is the sample space? anybody 
what is the sample space? What is the sample space? So what is the sample space? So I will check here. Hundred is there, right? Slowly we'll get it. Don't worry. So n of s is equal to zero. Okay, right. Sample space means the number of, sorry, the possible, possible outcomes. Or results, results of a random experiment, of a random experiment, experiment is called a sample space. is called a sample space denoted by denoted by yes okay this is the sample space okay yes occurrence of the outcomes the possible outcomes a results of a random experiment is called a sample space so that means actually here for example when a dice is rolled a dice is rolled at a time or at random at a time then sample space s is given by 1 2 3 4 5 6 this is called sample space for example the set of real numbers the set of real numbers between 0 and 1 so how many real numbers will be there many real numbers that means we can write like this s is the sample space x is such that x is a real number between 0 and 1 so now if you observe for example these two sample spaces example for the sample spaces so this sample space and this sample space so this is actually how many number of elements are there here six elements that means it is countable it is countable countable whereas this is not countable not countable so that means sample space can be divided into two types one is discrete sample space discrete sample space this is called discrete sample space this s is called discrete sample space this is actually called continuous continuous sample space so this is enough so we'll discuss more about when probability uh, this is the about the sample space okay so now for example now let us come to the what is the random variable here also random variable is two types one is discrete random variable other one is the continuous random variable so now so what is the random variable for example see when three kinds are tossed 
for example three kinds are tasked at a random at a random then see what is the sample space you will get it now sample space means for example if a coin is tasked we have the two possible cases tail head two kinds are tasked tail head tail head understood now so now three kinds are tasked tail here head tail head tail head tail and head so that means now we can write like this tail 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 so three tails may appear tail tail head next tail head tail tail head head next head head tail tail next head tail head 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 tail all heads head 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 that means in a sample space how many elements are there 1 2 3 4 5 6 8 obviously 8 to cube to cube so understood now here when three kinds are tasked the sample space is this one now for example let us say let x be the number of heads x be the number of heads for example let us say number of heads so number of heads means for example from from the each element of the sample space so can be associated with a number now because actually you take this uh, element now t t t so we said that x be the number of heads number of heads means when three kinds are tasked at random the possible values for x is equal to you get like this no head zero maybe one head maybe two head maybe three head i will explain see t t t stands for zero t t h stands for two heads t h t stands for one head this also one head one head two heads one head two heads two heads and three heads that means x is equal to 0 1 2 3 so that means actually 0 1 2 3 are nothing but a real numbers it's a from belongs to what now from set of real numbers this is sample space from the sample space to real numbers we can find out a function so for example you take this a sample space for example say this is yes for example say this is real number system r say like this for example dash 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 0 1 2 3 dash 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 so now this state t t t t t h t h t t h t t h h h t t and like that actually one thing now t t t t t h t h t t h h h t t h t h h h t h h h you take this say sample space set yes now t t t is associated to 0 t t h is associated to 1 t h t associated to 1 t h h associated to 2 h t t is associated to 1 h t h associated to 2 h h t associated to 
H H associated to 3. This will be 3. So that means now we define a function from S to R. Sample space to R. Suppose say this function is X. X such that S to R is a function. Function. Is called. Is called a random variable. A random variable. Understood now? Random variable. So now here, this 0, 1, 2, 3 are ca called range of random variable. Because this is a function. Random variable is a function. This is called range of random variable. Range of random. Generally, we can say Okay, this is called range of range of okay, one minute wait Siva uh state this quick part later. Okay, now, this is called range of random variable, RV, we can say that. So, for example, now when your three kinds are tasked, the range of random variable, variable is equal to, we can write like this, 0, 1, 2, 3. That means now we can find out, for 0, we can fi find out probability, for 1, we can find out probability, for 2, we can find out probability, for 3 also, we can find out probability. So that means P of X is equal to 0, for example, say. That means probability of getting here, no heads. No heads means actually, see, when three kinds are tossed, sorry, three kinds are tossed, the probability of getting no zeros means it's getting all tails. That is one chance, one by h. Now, we can find out P of x is equal to 1 to 1. So, that means actually, see, here 1 means how many chances are there here? One head. 1, 2, 3, only 3 chances. So, that means we can write uh, that will be 3 by h. Now, similarly, we can find out p of x is equal to 2. p of x is equal to 2 means 2 heads. 2 heads means see 1, 2, 3. That's also 3. So, so we can write p of x is equal to also 3 by h. Now, p of x is equal to 3. All three heads, only one chance, 1 by h. So, now this can be prepared as a table now. So, this can be prepared as a table. So, write down here, x is equal to, capital X is equal to x. So, this is the probability write down here, p of x is equal to x. 
we can pre prepare a table here 0 1 2 3 here 1 by 8 3 by 8 and 3 by 8 and 1 by 8 so this is called probability distribution probability distribution probability distribution this probability distribution may be discrete discrete or continuous continuous means x is equal to some set of infinity values here countable discrete so probability distribution so in this probability distribution one important concept we can find out add all these probabilities in this table some of the probabilities some of the probabilities means you can say sigma p of x is equal to x see what do you get now here 1 by 8 plus 3 by 8 plus 3 by 8 plus 1 by 8 so this will be 8 is the lcm 3 plus 1 4 4 plus 3 7 7 plus 1 8 so 1 in a probability distribution always sum of the probability is 1 you remember like this sigma p of x is equal to xi is equal to 1 you remember this condition sum of the probabilities in probability distribution is always Okay. Right now, so this can be generalized like this. Probability distribution. Let us say range of random variable. We say like this. X1, X2, X3 and so on Xn. It may not be discrete. It may be continuous also. So, respective probabilities. Respective probabilities. P of x1 is equal to P of x1, P of x2 and so on. P of x is equal to n. So, then we get like this. x1, x2, x3 and dash dash xn. A respective probabilities. For example, respective probabilities is say P of X is equal to 1 and P of X2, P of X3 and so on, P of Xn. Generally, we call it as X is equal to Xi. Here, it's probability, corresponding probability. Okay. Right. So now for this one actually probability distribution, probability distribution, we can find out the mean, the first concept or this is called mathematical expectation. Mean is equal to mu is equal to E of X is equal to that is sigma Xi into P of X is equal to Xi. You remember this formula. This is the mean of the probability distribution. Next, we have one more formula. Sigma square plus mu square is equal to sigma xi square into p of x is equal to xi. p of x is equal to xi. Let me explain. What is sigma square is? That is standard deviation. Sorry, this is variance. This is variance. The positive square root of sigma square equals to sigma that is called standard deviation. So that means in this chapter you remember one thing. You may be asked to find out the mean of the probability distribution and variance of the probability distribution and next standard deviation of the probability distribution. So let me repeat once again you see. So first formula you remember mean equals to 
this is denoted by x bar sometimes or mu or you can say that mathematical expectation e of x equal to sigma xi into its corresponding probability p of x is equal to xi this is mean formula and next variance formula variance sigma square is equal to mu square is equal to mu is already this is the formula sigma xi square into p of x is equal to xi so next third one standard deviation is equal to root of variance variance that is sigma where sigma square is equal to variance so next point for example so let us go for the problems now okay Okay, let us go for the problems now. Let us start the problems. First problem. A random variable, a random variable, a random variable x has following probability. probability okay probability distribution probability distribution so that is given as like this x is equal to x here 1 2 3 4 range of random variable is 1 2 3 4 corresponding probabilities p of x is equal to x corresponding probabilities is k 2k 3k and 4k then the value of k the value of k so need to be evaluated first option 10 second option is 1 by 10 third option is 1 by 5 fourth option 1 by 15 this is the question. I increased a lot of times actually volume. I am not able to get it. I don't. It's a problem of network. Okay. So now a random variable x has following probability distribution. This is a distribution table is given. Then the value of k we need to find out. I already dis discussed in the probability distribution. So we have sigma p of x is equal to x is equal to 1. That means sum of the probabilities is 1. So k plus 2k plus 3k plus 4k equals to 1. 
सेवन के नाइन के टेन के टेन के इक्वल्स टू वन के इक्वल्स टू वन बाई टेन सो दट मीन सेकेंड ऑप्शन इज द राइट ऑप्शन सेकेंड ऑप्शन इज द राइट ऑप्शन साई वन सेकेंड चेक द साउंड Now the second question. Second question. A random variable. A random variable. A random variable. Capital X takes the values. Take the values zero, one, and two. If p of x is equal to one equals to p of x is equal to two, and P of x is equal to zero equals to zero point four. Zero point four. Then the mean, the mean of the random variable, random variable. X is the mean of the random variable. You need to evaluate it. First option zero point two. Second option is zero point five. Third option zero point seven. Fourth option zero point nine. This is the question. Okay, better all of you use eight sets. Okay, now a random variable x take the values zero, one, two. That means range of the random variable is zero, one, two. P of x is equal to one equals to P of x is equal to two. Probable these two probabilities are equal. <coughs> P of x is equal zero is zero point four. Then the mean of the random variable we need to find out. First, let us prepare the table. So capital X is equal to x. Its corresponding probabilities. Let us write. So what is the range we have? Zero, one, two. For probability zero, the value is zero point four. So P of x is equal to one. P of x is equal to equal. Let us say. Each is k k. First step is we need to find out here k value. We know that sigma p of x is equal to x equals to one. That means two k plus zero point four is equal to one. Two k equals to how much? One minus zero point four, zero point six. K equals to zero point three. Now we need to find out the mean. Mean is given by the formula sigma x i into p of x is equal to x i. So very simple logic I will tell you. What is x i into p of x is equal to x i means zero into zero point four zero plus one into k plus two into k. That means this is k plus two k. This will be three k. Already k value have been evaluated. Three into zero point three, zero point nine is the mean. So that means fourth option is the right option. Fourth option is the right option.
Okay, let us move to the next problem. Now, third problem. A random variable a random variable x has the following distribution distribution following distribution so that is given x is equal to xi its corresponding probability p of x is equal to xi given okay 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 are the range of random variable corresponding probabilities k 2k 3k and 4k then what we need to find out the value of k the value of k and the p of x less than 3 probability x less than 3 you need to find out so that means first option 1 by 10 k value and next required probability is 3 by 5 second option is 1 by 10 3 by 10 third one is 3 by 10 and next 1 by 10 fourth one 1 by 24 5 by 12 this is the question this might be IP question okay right see a random variable X has a following distribution is given like this so value of K and P of X less than or equal to 3 you need to find out first let us find out K value we know that Sigma P of X is equal to X I equals to 1 that means 4k plus 4k plus 3k 7k 9k 10k 10k equals to 1 k value has been evaluated 1 by 10 so that means first option correct second option correct so next we need to find out now here p of x less than 3 p of x less than 3 means check the range less than 3 only two elements we have p of x is equal to 1 plus p of x is equal to 2 need to be evaluated so p of x is equal to 1 means k p of x is equal to 2 means 2k that will be 3k that means substitute k value so we get 3 by 10 so that means 1 by 10 3 by 10 second option is the right option second option is the right option Mr. Kiran Kiran, just now you joined. Today only I started second year chapter. Let it be completed first. Let it be completed. Next fourth problem. The value of C, the value of C for which for which P of X is equal to K instead of XI K given, don't worry, equal to C K square, respective probability for K given, can Serve the probability, serve the probability serve the probability 
function probability function of a random variable of a random variable of a random variable x takes values takes values 0 1 2 3 4 that means this is the range of the random variable is that means c value we need to find out now so first option is 1 by 30 second option is 1 by 10 third option is 1 by 3 fourth option is 1 by 15 right so this is the question okay now the value c for which p of x is equal to k equal to ck square can serve the probability function of the random variable x whose range is 0, 1, 2, 3. So let us prepare the table of probability distribution now. x is equal to k and next p of x is equal to k. So range is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. So definition is given like this, ck square. ck square means here c into 0, 0, c into 1 square, c, 4c, 9c, 16c. So very simple, sigma p of x is equal to k, sum of the probabilities is 1. That means 25, 29, 30. 30 c equals to 1. Therefore, c equals to 1 by 30. So that means first option is the right option. Okay. Fifth one. A random variable a random variable x has its range its range x is equal to 0, 1, 2 and the probabilities are and the probabilities and the probabilities are P of x is equal to 0 is 3k square. P of x is equal to 1 equal to 4k minus 10k square. P of x is equal to 2 is 5k minus 1. K is constant. K is constant. Then K. So value of K. First option 1. Second option 2. Third option 1 by 7. Fourth option is 2 by 7.
okay so let us move to the this problem now a random variable x has its range and their corresponding probabilities are given so that means it's a probability distribution p of x is equal to xi should be equal to how much one that means 3k square plus 4k minus 10k square plus 5k minus 1 should be 0 that means 3k square plus 4k minus 10k square plus 5k minus 1 should be equal to 1 so this simplify you get minus 7k square this will be plus 9k bring 1 this side minus 2 equals to 0 multiply with minus 1 you get 7k square minus 9k plus 2 is equal to 0 so now we get a quadratic equation in k we need to solve it now so if you solve it now you get a c here 7 into 2 is 14 14 means 7 into 2 7 plus 2 9 you can take it that means we can write 7k square minus 7k minus 2k plus 2 is equal to 0 so you take 7k common you get k minus 1 minus 2 common you get k minus 1 equals to 0 we have k minus 1 into 7k minus 2 equals to 0 so that means we have k is equal to 1 and k is equal to 7 by no, sorry 2 by 7 but it's very interesting k is equal to 1 you take it if it if you take k is equal to 1 for example if you consider k is equal to 1 what will happen the probability of x is equal to 0 you get 3k square means 3 probability never be greater than actually always lies in between probability lies any probability of any event lies in between 0 to 1 it cannot exceed 3 so that's why we need to so ignore this solution k is equal to 2 by 7 is the answer so fourth option is the right option fourth option is the right option okay that means probability of any event lies between 0 to 1 probability of any event is always positive because actually in axiomatic approach of the probability we have probability of any event is that is called uh, axiom of positivity positivity axiom so it should be always positive it cannot be negative also sixth problem if the variance if the variance of the random variable random random variable x is 5 the variance has been given here then the variance of the variance of minus 3x is first option 15 second option is 45 third option is minus 45 fourth option is 60 this is the problem
okay in the previous problem so in the previous problem we have the two values k is equal to 1 k is equal to 2 by 7 if you put k is equal to 1 here you get 3 here you get 4 minus 10 is negative value here we get 4 so the probability cannot be actually greater than 1 uh, greater than 1 it will always lie between 0 to 1 either it may be 0 or it may be 1 or a improper fraction uh, sorry proper fraction you will get it proper fraction understood now so that's why 2 by 7 is considered so now the sixth question if the variance of the random variable x is 5 then the variance of minus 3x we need to find out. So, I will explain one shortcut here. You remember this shortcut. Even this shortcut is useful for statistics chapter also. So, the variance of the variance of a x plus b that means for x a is multiplied and added constant is a square sigma square where sigma square is the variance of variance of random variable x this you remember shortcut that means it seems to be minus 3x. Minus 3x means a is equal to minus 3. So here actually variance of the random variable x is variance of x. That is sigma square is equal to 5 given. Now we need to find out variance of minus 3x. So that equal to so minus 3 whole square sigma square. See a square sigma square so 9 sigma square sigma square is equal to 5 that equal to 9 into 5 so 45 so second option is the right option second option is the right option The mathematical the mathematical expectation expectation the mathematical expectation of sum of points. sum of points when two symmetrical symmetrical dice are rolled symmetrical means unbiased is first option is 14 second option is 7 third option is 7 by 2 fourth option is we have 14 by 3 this is the question I will check the
your signal is good signal is okay right so now the mathematical expectation means is nothing but mean sum of the points when two symmetrical dice are rolled that means when two symmetrical dice are rolled sum of the points is called score for that score you need to find out the mean you need to find out so that means in general actually you will be getting like this see x is equal to xi p of x is equal to xi when two dice are rolled sum of the points random variable range of the random variable varies from 2 to 12 because on the first dice we have one second dice and one minimum values 1 plus 1 2 so that means you get like this 2 sum 2 3 we get 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 maximum 12 because 6 plus 6 12 probability of getting 2 is that means probability of getting sum 2 score 2 is Score minus one, two minus one, one by six. Three minus one, two by six. Four minus one, three by six. Five minus one, four by six. Six minus one, five by six. Seven. This is danger now. Thirteen minus seven. Thirteen. Mi uh, sorry, thirty-six here. Sorry, thirty-six, 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 thirty-six. Because this is two symmetrical dice. Next seven means thirteen minus seven is six by thirty-six. This will be five by thirty-six. This will be four by thirty-six. This will be thirteen minus ten, three by thirty-six. This will be two by thirty-six. This will be one by thirty-six. These are the required probabilities. Total actually here we have eleven problems have been completed in this one. Eleven problems. okay but now we need to find out actually here mean mathematical expectation means e of x that is nothing but mean mean is equal to what is the formula sigma xi into p of x is equal to xi okay that means you need to find out like this 2 into 1 by 36 plus 3 into 2 by 36 plus 4 into 3 by 36 And so on, twelve into one by thirty-six. We need to add, and it takes very lengthy time. For that one, I explain one shortcut. I explain one shortcut for you. Don't worry. I I explain one shortcut for this one. Don't worry. Instead of two symmetrical dice, for example. n symmetrical dice are rolled what will happen at that time it's a very typical to solve so that's why you remember the formula n times n multiplied by 7 by 2 you will get answer here n means how much now here here n is equal to number of number of dice so number of dice is 2 so n is equal to 2 so you will be getting 2 into n by 2 so answer is 7 so this is second option to explain the probability actually i explained i have taken this one because actually i completed 11 problems here in probability chapter and here shortcut we need not do n times 7 by 2 that's all if kinds means you remember one thing n times 1 by 2 in kinds you remember for example instead of dice instead of dice kinds is there kinds is there then mathematical expectation r mean equals to n times we need to write 1 by 2 okay now let us go to the eighth problem eighth one
कि रैंडम वेरिएबल ये रैंडम वेरिएबल एक्स हैज द फॉलोइंग probability following probability distribution distribution x is equal to x range of the random variable 1 2 3 4 its corresponding probabilities p of x is equal to x k 2k 3k 4k then mean of x random variable x we need to find out algebra algebra already completed that is quadratic equations expressions completed theory of equations need to be explained okay first option 1 second option 2 third option 3 fourth option 4 four. a random variable x has the following probability distribution then we need to find out mean of the random variable so first let us find out k value sigma p of x is equal to x equals to 1 so 4k plus 3k 7k 9k 10k 10k equals to 1 k value equals to 1 by 10 then we need to find out the mean so mean equals to Sigma x i into p of x is equal to x i. So that means one into k plus two into two k plus three into three k plus four into four k. Okay. This is k plus four k. Plus 9k, plus 16k, 25, 29, 30, 30k. Now k is replaced by 1 by 10. 30 into 1 by 10 equal to 3. So third option is the right option. Third option is the right option. okay so now ninth question if x is a random variable x is a random variable with with following probability distribution probability distribution probability distribution x is equal to x and corresponding probability p of x is equal to x the range of random variable is minus 3 6 9 corresponding probabilities 1 by 6 1 by 2 and 1 by 3 you check 
1 by 6, 1 by 2, 1 by 3 are all our proper fractions. So that can be defined now. Okay. Then variance of x, variance of x random variable. First option 65, second option 65 by 2, third option 65 by 3, fourth option 65 by 4. See, you remember one thing, in order to find out the variance, it is compulsory, we need to find out mean or mathematical expectation. Then we go for the variance formula. So, first let us find out now. X is the random variable with following distribution. First let us find out mu. Mu is equal to sigma xi into p of x is equal to xi. So, equal is to minus 3 multiplied by 1 by 6 xi x1 into p of x is equal to 1 plus 6 into 1 by 2 plus 9 into 1 by 3. So, this equal is to minus 1 by 2 plus 3 plus 3, 6 minus 1 by 2. This will be 11 by 2 mu is equal to. So, we have now sigma square plus mu square is equal to sigma xi square into p of x is equal to xi. So, sigma square plus mu square. Mu square means 11 by 2 square here equals to here you check it now. So, minus 3 square into its probability. What is the probability you check here now? 1 by 6. 1 by 6 plus 6 square into 1 by 2 plus 9 square into 1 by 3. So, let it be simplified now. So, this equal to 9 into 1 by 6 plus 36 into 1 by 2 plus 81 into 1 by 3. This will be 3 by 2 plus 18 plus 27. So, 3 by 2 plus this will be 45. So, this will be 93 by 2. Now, variance is equal to 93 by 2 minus 121, 11 square, 121 by 4. Here 4 is the LCM, 2, 3, 6, 186 minus 121. This will be 75 by 4. Sixty five, sorry, sixty five by four. Fourth option is the right option. Mr. Nick, slowly you will be getting to know how did you join? But little bit in the examination you need to do so fast. Calculations you need to first. Okay. Right. I am planning definitely I will start uh, vectors. So today I will check out the program and I will make the track sheet. In that definitely I will inform you tomorrow. Right. Thank you.
सो टेंथ क्वेश्चन टेंथ क्वेश्चन बाबना व्हाट हैपेंड हैव यू सब्सक्राइब टू अवर व्हाट्सएप ग्रुप बाबना आर यू देयर रैंडम वेरिएबल ए रैंडम वेरिएबल एक्स टेक्स टेक्स द वैल्यूज द वैल्यूज जीरो वन टू थ्री एंड इट्स मीन एंड इट्स मीन इज वन पॉइंट थ्री इफ पी ऑफ एक्स इज इक्वल टू थ्री इक्वल्स टू Two times p of x is equal to one, and p of x is equal to two equals to zero point three. Then p of x is equal to zero need to be evaluated. Right. first one is 0.1 second is 0.2 third is 0.3 fourth is 0.4 reja <laughs> okay ah uh, 50th question i need to differentiate it actually ha uh. you didn't explain sir no you didn't explain sir that's correct right okay a random variable x take the values 0 1 2 3 <laughs> and its mean is 1.3 p of x is equal to 3 equals to 2 times p of x is equal to 1 and p of x is equal to 0.3 then we need to find out p of x is equal to 0 ah uh, yes uh, 50th question actually now it's not a right time to discuss because uh, this chapter is different from that chapter suddenly i cannot uh, switch over to the other another concept okay don't worry so one thing i will do it i will put in the whatsapp group today i will open the whatsapp group to you you will check it now i will put the solution don't worry okay now first let us write 0 1 2 3 0 probability let us say k and next p of x is equal to 3 probability is 2 p of x is equal to 1 probability say something this is a, uh, p this is 2 p this will be 0.3 Okay, sum of the probabilities. This is x is equal to x i. This is p of x is equal to x i. So sum of the probabilities means k plus three p plus zero point three equals to one. K plus three p one minus zero point three zero point seven. Say equation one now. The mean. What is the mean formula? Mean is equal to zero into k zero plus p plus zero point six plus six p. Mean is already given one point three. So one point three equals to seven p plus zero point six. 
seven p equals to one point three minus zero point six. That will be zero point seven. P will be zero point one. So now with the help of this one, we need to find out k. K is nothing but p of x is equal to zero only. So that means actually here you will be getting k plus three p. Three p means zero point three. Equal to zero point seven, so k equals to zero point four, which is equal to p of x is equal to zero. So fourth option is the right option. Two p how? Okay, I will come two p. Ah, two p how means, for example, p of x is equal to one is k. This p of x is equal to three becomes this becomes. P of x t. Ah, for example, this is p. That will be two p. Even p of x is equal to zero. Not given. I assume k. Understood now. Sum of the probabilities. K plus p plus zero point three plus two p is equal to one. This is k plus three p is equal to one minus zero point three zero point seven. And mu. Mean 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 zero into k. K will be eliminated. Don't worry. In terms of p, we'll get it. P is equal to zero point one. Substituting P is equal to zero point one in this one, you will get this answer. Summa Sundi, which timetable shall I discuss with you? I don't have an idea. Right. Next eleventh question. The range of the range of a random variable a random variable. The range of a random variable x is one, two, three, four, dash dash. It's a continuous random variable. It's not discrete. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. M set timetable. Okay, very good. Right. Okay, definitely these kind of problems only will appear in exams examination, but somewhat typical problems may give. Concept is same, and the Madha Subargavi, which college have you studied now? Please, could you tell me which college? Are you from which college? Because I shall ask one doubt. I need to clarify. And the probabilities, and the probabilities are given by are given by p of x is equal to k equals to c to the power of k. By factorial k, or k factorial or factorial k, whatever it may be, k takes values from one, two, three, four, and so on infinity. Then the value of c. Then the value of c need to be evaluated. I think uh, E K I C B C B two C today only you joined, right? Ah, uh, it might be I I P I P question. Okay, no problem. First option two, 
second option log e to the base 2 third option log 2 base e fourth option 4 this is the question uh, Mr. Kartikeya, it is from IP or whatever it may be. So, you need to remember one thing. So, what you need to remember means everything is from our board examination syllabus only. Board examination syllabus means actually the concepts will be our board examination. That's all. But the level of the questions, the standard of the questions will be varied from examination to examination that you need to remember so that means in telugu we have one good quotation is there so in telugu can i say telugu will you understand telugu if i say one word or uh, i can say in, in english also no problem without base we cannot construct a building thank you welcome welcome sharan ras The range of a random variable x is 1, 2, 3, 4 and probability is given by this definition. Then we need to find out c value. So that means first let us prepare a table. So x is equal to k and its corresponding probability p of x is equal to k. Let us prepare probability distribution table. For k is equal to 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, this is continuous random variable. C power 1 means C only. This is C square by factorial 2. C cube by factorial 3. C power 4 by factorial 4. And dash dash. So, in any probability distribution table, uh, sum of the probabilities sigma p of x is equal to k must be equal to 1 that means we get like this c plus or c by factorial 1 by down no problem c square by factorial 2 plus c cube by factorial 3 plus so on dash dash infinity is equal to 1 adding 1 on both sides we get like this 1 plus c by 1 factorial plus c square by factorial 2 plus c cube by factorial 3 and so on infinity this is a power series 1 plus 1 2 so this is nothing but actually e power c expansion so you get like this e power c is equal to 2 therefore this is called exponential form we need to change into logarithmic form c is equal to log 2 to the base e so third option the right option see this question is actually called connection problem because you might have completed your 10th class just two years back, understood now. You know the standard of and level of the work question paper, Telangana question paper. Isn't it now? So there are some connection problems and like this. I am writing very clearly. Right. Right. Here, just I substituted K for 1, C power 1 c by factorial 1 this is c by factorial 1 2 substituting c square by factorial 2 c cube by factorial 3 c power 4 by factorial 4 sum of the probabilities is 1 that means c by factorial 1 plus c square by factorial 2 plus c cube by factorial 3 plus dash dash up to infinity is equal to 1 so add 1 on both sides if you add on both sides it will be the e power c so, e power c is equal to c becomes log 2 to the base e. <coughs> okay, now you are not correct me. I will change this one now. Wait. I will change the digital 
Вот на. Okay, now so chemistry doubts no nobody can so we don't have any chemistry faculty Okay. Right. Uh, and now, Twelfth question. Twelfth question. <laughs> right, right. Sir, A B problem. H question me. H set me. Okay, thank you, thank you, thank you. Akshay Diman, you are from actually Ariana, I think so. H tet, I could remember teacher eligibility test. You might be appearing. Uh, throughout the country, the same syllabus is there. That's why this question may might be appeared. Okay. If Not working. Right, twelfth problem. If P of X equals to C times two by three x two by three x okay x equals to one two three four Is a probability probability function. That means probability distribution. The value of c. The value of c. First option one by four. Second option one by three. Third option one by two. Fourth option is one by six. Okay.
राइट पी ऑफ एक्स इक्वल टू सी टाइम्स टू बाई थ्री पावर एक्स एक्स इक्वल टू वन टू थ्री फोर डैश डैश इज अ प्रॉबिलिटी फंक्शन देन वी नीड टू फाइंड आउट द वैल्यू ऑफ सी दट मीन्स दिस रैंडम वेरिएबल इज ऑल्सो एक्चुअली दिस इज कंटिन्यूस रैंडम वेरिएबल फंक्शन दैट मीन्स अप टू इन्फिनिटी अनकाउंटेबल रेंज इज हियर सो सोल्यूशन अप्लाई लाइक दिस sigma x takes values from 1 to infinity p of x is equal to 1 so that means sigma c multiplied by 2 by 3 x x takes values from 1 to infinity we can say like this also x runs from 1 to infinity equals to One. Okay, I will move to the next page because it's not appearing to you. I will write like this: sigma c common two by three power x. X runs from one to infinity equals to one. This we can write c times. First two by three power one, two by three plus two by three whole square, two by three whole cube. Okay, so on infinity equals to one. If you observe, this is geometric progression, but infinity sum to infinity s infinity. So we have s infinity formula is equal to a by one minus r. Here a means first term two by three. Common ratio is two by three whole square by two by three. That is also two by three. R is equal to two by three. So now we can write c multiplied by two by three by one minus two by three equal to one. This will be one by three. So c times two by three into three by one. Equal to one. Three three gets cancel. So c equals to one by two. C equals to one by two. So third option. Third option is the right option. Guru Acharya, check it now. Check your option. So thirteenth problem. If it rains if it rains a dealer in rain coats. rain coats can earn can earn rupees 500 a day if it is fair if it is fair fair if it is fair he will loss rupees 40 a day is mean profit you need to be evaluated is mean profit is mean profit if the 
with the probability probability of a fair day fair day is 0.6 is first option rupees 230 second rupees 4460 third option rupees 176 fourth option rupees 88 this is the question Okay. First, read the question first. All of you. First, read the question. So, have you read the question? Okay. Answer one. Right. Let us see. if it rains a dealer in rain coats can earn rupees 500 this is actually profit if it is fair no rain loss is 40 is mean profit we need to find out probability of the fair day is 0.6 so that means now let us do in the next page to prepare the table x is equal to x and the probability of x getting loss loss means 40 rupees fair day minus 40 write down getting profit 500 plus so fair day probability is 0.6 so this is not given say k we know that Sum of the probabilities p of x is equal to x equals to one. Zero point six plus k equals to one. Therefore, k is equal to zero point four. Now we need to find out mean profit. Mean profit. The mean profit is equal to mu. Sigma x i into p of x is equal to x i. That means minus forty into six zero point six plus five hundred into k k means zero point four. How much you will be getting two forty plus this is two thousand. How many points? One point here also one point. That means two hundred plus twenty four. That means rupees two twenty four is is a profit, is a profit. K is equal zero point four. Okay. Right. Option three, one seventy six. How did you get option three? Sorry, sorry, sir. I did wrong. I did wrong. It's absolutely correct. Your sign convention I have forgotten. This is minus. So this will be two hundred minus twenty four. This will be one seventy six rupees. One seventy six is the profit. So 
the third one absolutely correct you check the method this is a solution dinkar now you check the answer now so now look at the screen all of you look at the screen yes i have written first 240 i have written 240 then i substituted point here you need to check here now see this is point minus 24.0 minus 24 this is 200.0 200 minus 24 176 so rupees 176 is is profit you will get the fact ramesh gedapu you are new have you joined subscribed bhavana have you joined in the whatsapp group or not i didn't observe in the our whatsapp group okay Fourteenth problem. Fourteenth problem. One minute. Techno Trill, who is Mr. Roshan? A box contains a box contains Mr. Techno Trill, if you are interested, you can continue our classes. Otherwise, you can leave because it's not a paid channel. You remember, it's a free channel. Okay. Please make a move. You can take your home. Better you take rest at home. Why did you waste your precious time? Right. A box contains six tickets. Six tickets. Two of tickets. Two of tickets. Carry a prize. A prize. of rupees 5 each and other four rest of the four and other four other four tickets other four a prize of a prize of rupees 1 each if one ticket if one ticket if one ticket
is drawn is drawn the mean the mean value of the fries is the mean value of the fries need to be evaluated first option is rupees 2.5 Second option, rupees seven by three. Third option, rupees five by three. Fourth option, rupees four by three. Right. So, Prith Vardhan, you might have not attended my coordinate geometry classes. If you attend my coordinate geometry classes, you won't say like this. Okay, Mr. Murthy, are okay? Good thing you did good job. Right. So now, first let us find out actually two tickets are actually here. Two tickets are of five rupees price. Four tickets are one rupee price. That means to get five rupees actually out of six, we need to select four four tickets. That means its probability is four by six, getting a price five. Four by six means rest is actually here we have sorry two by six. Uh, getting one rupee is four by six. So now we can prepare a table like this. X is equal to x. P of x is equal to x. Getting one rupee. And five rupee. This becomes the range. Getting one rupee means how many tickets are there? Four tickets. But only one ticket is drawn. That can be done four C one four out of six four by six. Two tickets are each consisting of five rupees prize money. That two by six. Mean you need to find out. So mean is equal directly. I am writing one into four by six plus. Five into two, ten by six. That will be fourteen by six. Two seven ja, two three ja. Seven by three is the answer. So that means second option. Second option is the right option. So that means actually generally, if we provide the classes for the plea, definitely everybody will get bored. So if you charge the money, definitely you won't get bored, isn't it now? This uh, right quite uh, the phenomena need to be understood by everybody. As we are doing the service, nobody is interested to take it, consider it, accept it. So that means Mr. Who is asked that question actually? I will give my uh, account number. Please pay the money. Then you don't get any bore. We will make the entertainment class. Uh, okay, Suprit Vardhan. Uh, now I could get it now. Please tell shortcuts for finding circum center, ortho center, in center. Wonderful, wonderful. So in the straight lines, definitely I will discuss. Okay, good question you asked. So pretty well done. Now I get it now. Not Akshay Diman. Actually, I am speaking very frankly. So in spite of my already, I spoke lot of times. Actually, these fellows are uh, <coughs> generally feel like that. So I won't distract. Don't worry.
<laughs> no, 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 no. They might be from, actually they are not the students. They might be from other sectors. So otherwise they won't say, I know because you are regular viewers, I know I could remember all the regular viewers. Right. Really, for the sake of you people only, I have been continuing. Otherwise, I stopped. I already told you, I have other assignment on also. Assignment also. So, in spite of that, actually. Thank you. Thank you, Akshay. Where are you from, Akshay? Okay. Bhavana, definitely, I will explain definite integration. Ajay Kanna, sir, I saw you in TS with just uh, so exactly, exactly. So they invited me to take up the classes. Actually, I have more than 56 classes I have taken in TSET. My classes will be available. Right. Okay. Two unbiased. unbiased kinds whose faces whose faces whose faces whose faces are marked are marked one and two Instead of head or tail, one or two are marked. Are marked one and two. Are tasked. That means they were tasked. The mean value, the mean value, mean value, mean value means mean only. The mean value of the total of the numbers is total of the numbers total of the numbers is first option three. Second option 4, third option 5, fourth option 6. Two unbiased kinds whose faces are marked 1 and 2. Instead of head, tail, 1, 2 are printed or tasked. The mean of the total of the numbers we need to find out. So that means first of all actually sample space let us find out. Two kinds are tasked. One, one may appear on the first guy. One, two. Next, two, one. Next, two, two. Now the possible sum. Say x is equal to x. Probability of x is equal to x. So minimum sum is one plus one is two. Two plus one, three. 2 plus 2, 4. 2, 3, 4 is the possible sum. Getting 2. Getting 2 means only one chance out of 4. 1 by 4 is probability. Getting 3. Getting 3 means two chances we have. 1 plus 2 or 2 plus 1. That is 2 by 4. Getting 4. Only one chance. 2 plus 2. 1 by 4. So now mean. Mean equals to 2 by 4 plus 6 by 4 plus 4 by 4. four 6 plus 4, 10, 12 by 4. Equal to 3. That means first option is the right option. Suprit Vardhan, please stop. Actually, I kept in our mind. Once if you chat, once again, you will be kept on. You will be kept hide. That's all.
16. If the variance variance of a random variable random variable x is sigma square then the variance of the random variable of the random variable x minus 5 is first option phi sigma square second 25 sigma square third sigma square fourth two sigma square two sigma square right right here let me explain shortcut once again here if the variance of random variable x is sigma square then the variance of the variance of random variable ax plus b is a square sigma square. That means your solution. Your c a means 1. So, variance of x minus 5 equals to a square sigma square that means one square is one sigma square that means third option third option is the right option so one more request to the viewers the evening time actually here weather conditions constantly uh, changing that's why the class actually maybe 410 i will uh, fix the notification but it may not be possible so that uh, uh, today i would like to continue up to 10 minutes please stay so that we shall complete this chapter so that we shall complete this chapter and we shall move to the uh, next session is new with new chapter are you ready right seventeen if the variance if the variance of the random variable random variable x is 4 then the variance variance of the random variable of the random variable 5x plus 10 is first option 100 second 10 third 50 fourth 25 
Okay, I will complete it, Duvansh. Definitely. Where are you from, Akshay? Solution. Variance of x equals to 4. Now, variance of 5x plus 10 equals to, we can write, 5 square into variance of x. That is 25 multiplied by 4, which equals to 100. So, first option is the right option. Okay, okay, Haryana. Uh, Haryana means I happen to be to Ambala. Ambala. I visited Ambala last year. Okay. Now, 18th question. If the two questions are still, if the variance variance of the random variable. random variable x is 9 the standard deviation the standard deviation of the random variable minus 4x plus 8 is First option 144, second option, second option 27, third option 12, fourth option is 16. Here solution, sigma square is equal to variance of x equal to 9 given and first variance of minus 4x plus 8 let us find out this will be minus 4 square into variance of x is 9 that will be 16 into 9 144 but we are asked standard deviation standard deviation of minus 4x plus 8 equals to square root of variance of minus 4x plus 8 that is root 144 is positive square root we need to take 12 third option Very good, very good. Still everybody is waiting. Thank you. 19. Only two questions are there. I will discuss. Okay. A person who tosses Who tosses an unbiased, unbiased coin gains gains two points. It's a game actually. Two points for turning. For turning up, for turning up 
a head that means if he gets head two points and losses one point losses one point that means minus one for a tail for a tail if three coins are tossed if three coins are tossed if three coins are tossed and the total score total score x is observed then the range of x then the range of x is first option 0 36 second option minus 303 third option minus 3036 fourth option minus 336 this is the problem Uh, unbiased means there is no it's strictly uh, no change in that one always if you toss it kind uh, head may come tail may come so biased means some changes may occur in that one that you remember mathematically we call it as unbiased or symmetrical okay Three kinds are tossed. So three kinds are tossed means write down. So your flow chart you take it. One kind means tail head. Two kinds means tail again he tail head. Tail head. If you write this branch easily, we can write the outcomes. Here head tail. Head tail. head tail head tail so you get like this tail 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 one case tail tail head tail head head tail head tail head tail head head tail tail head 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 before that head head tail uh, you remember unbiased kind gains two points gain two points for turning head losing one point minus one for tail all tails minus one minus one minus one this will be corresponds to minus three here actually we have minus 2 plus 2 minus 2 plus 2 1 here actually 4 minus 1 3 here uh, what do we get now for this one uh, minus 2 minus 2 plus 2 0 here two heads two heads means 4 minus 1 this will be 3 so this will be zero uh, this will be two heads two heads means how much four points and one point three this will be total how many points six so what are the case you will be getting c minus three zero one three six 
sorry not one one may be possible actually here what now two tails two tails means how much mm. zero this is sorry this is zero so that means third option is the right option third option is the right option what is krishna muti what is that What is Prudvi? What happened? Next, last question. This is twentieth question. Let X be the let X be the let X be the random variable. random variable with the probability with the probability with the probability okay distribution function distribution function f of x equals to e power minus x 4 power x by x factorial where x equals to 0 1 2 3 0 dash dash then the standard deviation of x random variable x first option 2 second option 4 third option 16 fourth option is root 2 this is the question okay Please stop. Please discussion stop. Okay, let's be. All right. So it is nothing but actually you remember all of you. This is probability uh, Poisson distribution formula. What is the Poisson distribution formula means? We have like this. P of x is equal to r is equal to lambda e power minus lambda lambda power r by r factorial. Where lambda is the parameter, lambda is parameter. Here lambda is equal to four. In Poisson distribution, in PD, you remember mean is parameter lambda, variance is also lambda. What is the lambda four? So standard deviation. Standard deviation is equal to square root of four. That is two. so option is first option is the right option first option is the right option so thank you one and all bye see you have a nice day so this chapter has been completed today successfully we have completed this Krishna Muti, take care. Be safe there. Take precautions. Just now, I got to know about the situation of there. Or take care. Bye. See you.